Good afternoon, Hattiesburg. Thanks for joining us for this COVID-19 and city news briefing for Friday, January the 8th. I want to start with some vaccination news because we had two very encouraging developments this week. Uh, actually, today, this morning, uh, Forest General and Hattiesburg Clinic announced that they are collaborating to form the HealthWorks Immunization Clinic. That will be on the first floor of Hattiesburg Clinic uh, at their office on South 28th Avenue. This is a great development because before then, uh, they were they were vaccinating their staff and some of the some other healthcare workers. Of course, you had the Department of Health doing their uh, thing at the convention center. Uh, having supply at our local healthcare provider um, is a big deal for us. And so, starting Monday, January the 11th, Hattiesburg residents uh, who are age 75 and older, or anybody in the area who's 75 and older, um, will have an additional opportunity to be vaccinated. Uh, thanks to this partnership between Hattiesburg Clinic, Forest General, and the Mississippi State Department of Health. Uh, it will allow our community to continue meeting the critical needs of residents and make vaccinations available. And again, this, these are for folks who are over, who are 75 and older. So the HealthWorks Immunization Clinic will be at the first floor of Hattiesburg Clinic at 415 South 28th Avenue, and they'll be administering uh, COVID-19 vaccines to individuals 75 and older starting Monday. Um, and so if you want to make an appointment, you can do that through your Irish account. However, you don't have to be a Hattiesburg Clinic patient. You can call 601-261-1620. That's 601-261-1620. And we'll go back and, and post this uh, in, in the copy of this, of this post. Um, but if you want more information, again, you can go to the Hattiesburg Clinic Facebook page, the Forest General Facebook page, or you can visit HattiesburgClinic.com slash HealthWorks dash immunization dash clinic. And again, uh, that number is 601-261-1620 if you want to book an appointment or you can just do it through your Irish account. However, I know we're, we're talking to folks who are 75 and older who may not have an Irish account or how to use Iris. So uh, if you have an elderly parent or grandparent or someone you know who needs to book an appointment, um, you, you can do that. It's 261-1620. The second encouraging development was at the Forest County Health Department vaccination site at Lake Terrace Convention Center at the Visitor Center. Uh, also opened up more appointments today. And there are a few slots as of about 30 minutes ago that are still open. I want to give you those dates and those times that are open so you can go to covidvaccine.umc.edu and choose the Forest County Lake Terrace Convention Center as the registration location. And these are the dates that are open as of now. So uh, Tuesday, next Tuesday the 12th, there are slots open from the 140 to 340 range. Uh, Thursday the 14th, there are slots open from 9.40 a.m. to 3.40 p.m. Friday the 15th, there are slots open from 9.40 a.m. to 11.20 a.m. And then there are more slots from 1 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. Uh, there are also some random times on Tuesday, January 26th, Friday the 29th. But hopefully next Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, if you get on covidvaccine.umc.edu and you can book an appointment to go to the convention center, and have uh, and have your vaccination if you are 75 and older or caring for someone who is 75 and older. And of course, healthcare workers are still in the call right now. Uh, and as more populations become eligible for vaccine, of course, we'll pass along the news to you. But those are just really two encouraging things I wanted to lead off today's briefing with. Uh, that Hattiesburg Clinic is now going to have their own immunization clinic that that you could have, and there's no cost to the patient for for these. And there's also more times open in the convention center. So let's try to get our folks, our neighbors. Uh, our, our parents, grandparents who are over the age of 75, let's try to get them in uh, and, and get a vaccine. So, in, But in terms of numbers today, unfortunately, we continue to set some records that are not good. Uh, hospitalizations are now up to 115 between Merritt Health Wesley and Forest General. That's actually the highest that we've been since December the 20th. And of those 115, 33 are in the ICU. Uh, the question that then comes is how is that affecting bed capacity? And of course, capacity is affected by space by staff and by stuff. Uh, just because you have the room, if you can't staff it, it, it sort of defeats the purpose. And so um, right now, both hospitals are getting creative with how they do staffing and, and both had beds available as of this morning. Forest General had uh, 29 acute beds available. Merritt Health Wesley had 12. I will say both of our hospitals are getting really creative. Uh, we're asking staff to work extra shifts. Um, figuring out ways to discharge folks. Uh, and so both of those have, have worked really hard to get those acute beds available. Uh, both have two ICU beds, I think, each available. And of course, uh, hospital capacity shifts throughout the day. As, as they you know, discharge in the morning, take people in in the afternoon, that's how that's affected. Uh, the best thing we can do is try to avoid getting this and uh, uh, 
help protect the vulnerable from getting this so they don't end up in the hospital. Uh, however, we're, we are seeing new infections right now, uh, 39 in Forest County today, 45 new cases in Lamar County, and that follows a day where we had 68 new positive cases in Forest County and 67 new cases in Lamar County. The inside 14-day number, again, this is the number of people who have received their positive test result in the last two weeks. That's the one that really concerns us because it now stands at over 600 for each county, both Forest and Lamar. So 1,216 inside 14-day total. That's the highest inside 14-day number since this pandemic began. So obviously there's good news with the vaccine distribution opening up at the new HealthWorks Immunization Clinic at Hattiesburg Clinic. Uh, and good news with more slots opening up for vaccines at Lake Terrace Convention Center's Visitor Center. However, that good news is tempered by the fact that we have potentially more sick people in our community than ever before. And more infections eventually means that we're going to have more hospitalizations and worse. So please be mindful this weekend of where you go and who you are around. Do the things that we know work. Wear a mask, practice social distancing, and avoid unnecessary gatherings. Uh, one final thank you today, and this is our act of courage, to Anthony Alford and the Players Alliance. Uh, we had several Major League Baseball players uh, here amongst us today in Hattiesburg at Vernon Damer Park. And also thank you to, to Martha Allen at Extra Table uh, and all of our city employees. Um, we gave away food, uh, PPE, sports equipment. Uh, all of these baseball players came together um, to donate you know, their time and, and previously their money to make this happen. And so uh, at the same time, we also had a very a great ribbon cutting for the new hitting facility at Vernon Damer Park near the Little League Fields. And we thank Gray Builders, led by Joe Gray Sr., for his work in building that facility, as well as just for he and his son, uh, Joe Jr., another pro baseball player from, from Hattiesburg, for, for speaking out on how opportunity helped build uh, their family success and how opportunity should be available to all uh, of our young people. And so uh, you can check out the city's Facebook page for photos uh, on that event over the next few days. And in that regard, I just want to, we, we don't say it enough, but thank you to all who supported the 1% Parks and Recreation tax back in 2019. Uh, this is your penny at work. You are making a difference through these investments, and, and you voted to do it, and we appreciate it. So I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Please be safe this weekend. We're at a very tough time right now in this pandemic. Please wear your mask. Avoid those unnecessary gatherings. And again, uh, if you know someone who's 75 and older who on Monday will be eligible to get the vaccine, please help them. Uh, schedule a time to go get one. And we, again, we hope you have